Hi hey everybody, this is the Baseball Hunt, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hunt. Welcome back to the Baseball Hunt 2. Hope you like this video and hit that subscribe button. So, we're back talking about the Olympics and it's just more fallout. And a lot of people are giving their takes on it. Um, and really, we know what the situation is there in the Olympics. It's just a disaster there. In the opening ceremony where they brought out these... Uh, men dressed up like uh, female demonic clowns. I would mention, somebody wrote to me and said that I don't know history, I don't know mythology, and that was a mythological scene that they were showing. And that Jesus Christ, that Christ took all those things, they had all this stuff after, you know, after after Christ was gone, you know, the Christians, they had all this stuff. Let me explain something to people. Mythology is mythology. Didn't happen. Jesus Christ was a human breathing person. He was an historical figure. He existed on this planet. Nobody's stealing. He's not stealing anything from anybody. So people said that he did certain things and he did it. Okay? And the fact that people are still talking about him for, you know, 2,000 years later must have meant that he was very important. Uh... That opening ceremony was meant to mock the Last Supper, which is the most solemn dinner during the Christian holiday, during the Christian faith. Obviously, because the, 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 supper, the Last Supper was when Christ had his final dinner with his disciples, because he knew he was he wasn't going to be there with them after that night. He knew he was going to get arrested by the Romans. That was a historical fact. He was arrested by the by the Romans that night. There's no mythology behind any of that. Nothing. Nothing. The Romans crowned his death. They wrote they the Romans wrote down who he was. He was a real person. Just to get that out of the way. Also, I mentioned I'm a college graduate. So I know what I'm talking about, and I went to and I went to Catholic school. So I, I know what I'm talking about here. But anyway, this is from Outkick.com. Headline, Riley Gaines slams Kamala Harris over Vice President's silence on Olympic boxing controversy. Kamala Harris is running for president? <laughs> Who's being forced on, on, on everybody? Democrats are forcing her on everybody? God help us. One of the biggest controversies of the 2024 Summer Olympics around the two boxers who were disqualified from previous competitions for failing gender tests competing in the women's division. Also, another thing I need to mention. People writing to me, so, well, you don't understand. The hormones are... The no, 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 no. These people are taking chromosome tests, DNA tests. They failed them. These two guys failed it. And there have been fighters doing this, doing this, the female fighters. They've been doing this on, on, in, the, in the ring against these, these two guys. And they look like guys. Okay, anybody says. What were they born? What, what's on their birth certificate? There's your answer. No one ever asked that. Both athletes, Amai Khalif of Algeria and Lin Yu Ting of Taiwan, have reached the semifinals in their weight classes and are poised to medal in, in women's boxing. They're going to fight each other. Oh, that'd be great. I think they're going to fight each other, by the way. They're going to. It's going to be great. Two men fighting in the women's competition. That's great. These are two failed male fighters, just like Leah Thomas was a failed, whose name is really William, failed in the men's competition when swimming. Riley Gaines competed against him, and he's walking around the locker room naked. And, you know, and he knew he wasn't. Hey, there's only one way to tell. Riley Gaines hosts the Outkick podcast, Gaines for Girls. One of the most influential pro-women voices in the country has been an outspoken critic of the International Olympic Committee for allowing Khalif and Yuting to fight women. One person who has, said, who has not said anything about the controversy is Vice President and presumptive, presumptive, Democrat nominee for President Kamala Harris. They're just going to give it to her. They don't have like elections with the Democrats. Outkick reached out to Harris's campaign and her White House staff multiple times over the past week to get her comment on the situation. They have not responded to any requests. They might not know what the hell they're talking about. She might not know what's going on. 
She don't know whether she's coming or going, that woman. Gaines appeared on Fox News and bashed Harris for not standing up for the women. In the Olympic boxing competition, issued a warning about what her silence says about potential policies for the U.S. should Harris be elected. Quote, a vote for Kamala is a vote against your daughter's future, Gaines told Fox News host Jesse Waters. I see lots of people on social media saying they will be voting for Kamala because she's a woman. Gaines continue, I'll be voting for Donald Trump because I am a woman. Well, for his part, former U.S. President and current Republican pres presidential nominee Donald Trump immediately expressed his disapproval of the IOC, allowing two boxers with XY chromosomes to punch women in the face at the Olympics. Trump told Outkick founder Clay Travis on Travis's radio show, Clay and Buck, that it's ridiculous that two fighters are competing in the women's division. He, he stated his position clearly, quote, Men will not be playing. I mean, <clears throat> men will not be playing in women's sports. The controversy at the Olympics coincides with the Biden's Biden administration's rewrite of Title IX, which went into effect August first. Although Vice President Kamala Harris has not responded to requests for a comment, as Gaines noted, Harris openly supports Biden's Title IX changes. Those changes allow anyone who identifies as a woman, as as the two Olympic boxers who have failed previous gender tests do use private spaces reserved for women in higher education. Instead of basing Title IX on sex as it was originally intended, the Biden-Harris administration wants the protection to be based on gender identity. That's exactly what Gaines means when she says that a vote for Kamala is a vote against your daughter's future. I would mention that if this becomes more prevalent where, where boys and men are getting into these girls and women's like different sports, it's just going to, no girl's going to participate because and no parent's going to want them to go up against... Now, here's the thing. When boys and girls are, are the same age, around 10 years old, they, they're on an equal footing. But once that boy hits puberty, the girl's at a disadvantage. So any girl competing against a, a boy in, in his teens, they're at a disadvantage physically. No mother, no father's going to want their, their girls competing against these boys and these men. They're going to get physically hurt. We know of the situation of the 17-year-old girl that uh, was paralyzed because she got spiked during a volleyball match because the boy on the other side spiked the ball and hit her square on the top of the head and paralyzed her. That's the power of a man versus a woman. And, and, and I don't need to be retarded. It's not retardation. It's just a fact. And men have a, 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 a stronger bone density than a woman does in comparison, quite frankly. I mean, I don't want any man to fight me, and I'm a man. <laughs> but just say it. I'm just saying, you know. Uh, that one girl that, that backed out of the fight in uh, Paris, she was smart. She would have gotten killed. And then she backed down. Why would you back down? They must have told her if you didn't back down, you're not going to fight again on an international level. That's probably what happened. Probably someone in her country probably told her that. Well, you let me know what you think about this video, of course. Please subscribe to Baseball Hut 2. I'll see you later.